Good news. Australian, U.S. firms to take over Hanjin Shipyard in Subic, Zambal's Hanjin Subic Shipyard, one of the major shipyards that catapulted the Philippines to become the fifth largest shipbuilding country in the world, would soon be operated by an Australian shipyard and a company based in the United States. Maritime Industry Authority, Marina. Administrator Robert M. Pedrad said a contract was already finalized and any time soon, a company from the U.S. would take over Hanjin Heavy Industries and Construction Fills. Inc. PH, in collaboration with an Australian shipyard operator. If not due to pandemic, this, takeover, is finished. An Australian company would operate the shipyard. This is a welcome development because it would give employment to laid-off shipyard workers, he said. MP Dredd added that one of the projects of Marina is to activate the shipyard to allow 20,000 Filipino-skilled workers to go back to shipyard and continue with their jobs. Here's the full video of Hanjin Shipyard presentation. In heavy industries and construction, strongly believes technological development is the key to the successful future of the global shipbuilding industry. We stayed true to our belief and surprised the whole world by accomplishing the impossible. We fought against poor weather conditions and lack of infrastructure and manpower and created a cutting-edge shipyard. We are preparing ourselves to take a big leap forward the completion of our world-class Subic Shipyard. Hanjin Heavy Industries and Construction's Subic Shipyard located in the Philippines is about to set new standards in the world's shipbuilding industry. Hanjin Heavy Industries and Construction, which was designated as the nation's first defense contractor in 1974, has the most extensive experience in new construction of naval ships, such as landing crafts, amphibious ships, midget submarines, and patrol ships. The Dokdo vessel delivered to the Korean Navy in 2007 is a multi-purpose 14,000-ton troop ship armed with advanced technologies befitting the world's top shipbuilding nation. From Korea's first ever government-operated icebreaker to diving support vessels, salvage vessels, and oceanographic vessels, we boast unparalleled expertise in new vessel development and construction expertise in the Coast Guard security vessel industry. In 2009, the Araon, Korea's first ever ice-breaking research vessel, was launched. The Araon is a high-tech vessel designed for operation in one-meter-thick, multi-year ice conditions with a three-knot speed per hour in extreme temperatures of minus 30 degrees Celsius and is equipped with a 25-ton crane, helicopter, and 60 different types of research equipment. The success of its test voyage to the Antarctic in February 2010 has given Korean citizens confidence in Korea's future and has shown Hanjin Heavy Industries and Construction's advanced know-how and technological expertise to the world. Now, Hanjin Heavy Industries and Construction will expand its specialized expertise such as offshore plants and FPSOs by maximizing the mutual synergy effect of the Subic Shipyard and the Yongdo Shipyard. If you are new to my channel please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to notify you if I have a new videos. God bless, Philippines.